Hello everyone. Let us discuss one more property on closure. Closure of a subset of a topological space. Let us consider a topological space. Say capital X. Let us consider two subsets of X. Then a intersection B, its closure, closure of A intersection B will always the subset of A bar intersection B bar in general. Let's prove this. We know that A intersection B will be the subset of A and A intersection B will be the subset of B, which is always true. That is by the definition of intersection property and subset. So, we can tell that here A intersection B be the subset of A. Call uh, this as a singleton set, single set which implies A intersection B, its closure will be the subset of A bar and closure of A intersection B will be the subset of a B bar. Combining these two, we left with A intersection B closure is the subset of A bar intersection B bar. Because, see here, I am intersecting these two with these two, right? Closure of A intersection B, intersection, closure of A intersection B is closure of A intersection B itself. Subset here, subset A bar or A closure intersection B closure. So, this proves the result. In general, Closure of A intersection B not equal to closure of A intersection closure of B. Um, let's prove this by one contrary example. Consider the real space R U. Let us consider two sets. Say these two. I am considering A equal to open interval 2 to 3, B equal to open interval 3 to 4. Yeah, real space is there. In the real space, we take uh, intervals, right? It may be open interval or it may be closed interval. I am considering open interval. Then, uh, let's find out the value A intersection B. A intersection B, here open interval 2 to 3, intersection open interval 3 to 4. See here, open interval is there. That means 3 is excluded from this interval and 3 is excluded from this interval. So, no element is common. Here, this will be empty. Closure of this empty is empty itself because empty is a closed set. Empty is a closed set. So, uh, if... Uh, let it be A. If A be a closed set, then its closure will be A itself. We have proved this, right? If A is closed, then A will be equal to A bar. A will be equal to A bar. So, we have used this result. See here, empty is closed. How we can find? How we can find? Say, um, capital X be a topological space, then this term will contain uh, these two elements must and should. See here. Uh, then X and MT became open sets. Then its closed will be X minus X and X minus MT. These are closed sets. X minus X is MT. X minus MT is X. So, here MT and X are closed set. This implies MT is a closed set. Implies MT bar is equal to MT itself. Okay. So, A intersection B closure is closure of MT which is MT itself. Similarly, let us find out the A bar closure of A. That is closure of open interval. Closure of a set is closed set. Right. So, closure of 2 to 3 is nothing but closed interval 2 to 3. And closure of B is nothing but closure of uh, the interval 3, 4 which is closed interval 3 to 4. 
let's find out a closure intersection b closure that is uh, closed interval 2 to 3 intersection closed interval 3 to 4 see here closed interval is there that means 3 is included here also in this interval 3 is included um, no other elements are common so left with singleton set 3 see here a bar intersection b bar we left with 3 singleton set 3 and closure of a intersection b empty call this as equation 1 and equation 2 from equation 1 and 2 closure of a intersection b is not equal to closure of a intersection closure of b this proves the result ok uh, keep your mind keep in your mind uh, for any a b b two elements of real space element in real space then in the real space are you uh, closure of closed interval is again closed interval closure of open interval is also closed interval a to b closure of semi closed as well as semi open interval is closed interval itself okay this is the rule by using this rule we can say uh, or we can find the closure of these okay i will come with one more topic in my next video